All right, so our run-up's complete. Now we're going to get clearance to depart from runway 2A right for our westbound departure over to Lima 18. And when we get in the air and we get to the kind of boring cruise part, I'm going to go over some of the information we need to know about landing at Lima 18 or Fallbrook Airport. Montgomery Tower, Cessna 733 Delta Kilo, holding short of runway 2A right, ready for departure. 733 Delta Kilo, Montgomery Tower, runway 2A right, clear for takeoff. 2A right, clear for takeoff, 3 Delta Kilo. Whiteman Tower, Piper 7744 Sierra, holding short one way one two, ready for the full left uh, downward departure. Cessna 44 Sierra, uh, Whiteman Tower left downward departure, runway one two, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway one two, left downward departure, 44 Sierra. Let's get this heading bug set. And at the time, full power. Tiger Dragon 65 uh, Heavy is off Juliet, short of uh, 25 right, going up to uh, gate 43. There's 55, rotate. American 730, uh, correction, American 635, heavy. Uh, Los Angeles Crown, uh, taxi uh, to get via Charlie, correction, straight ahead on Juliet, right turn on Charlie, Charlie Niner. Charlie, uh, straight ahead on Juliet, and Charlie, and Charlie Niner, American 635. American 635, are you on the Charlie 10 or Charlie 9 side? Whiteman Tower. All right, so just now we're leaving the Montgomery Gibbs airspace. You can see that by, we're about to cross this dotted line here. Our right, course, we're climbing to 3,500. Climbing a temperature bearing 53262. Good evening. 900, climbing 4,000 out of Oxford. 29 8 Niner, 44 Sierra. Dead bar checking at 65 kilos on the Polish Smith uh, Stainless Pistol 1900 for four. Number 635 kilo Santa Barbara departure, right of contact um, at, uh, at 3000. All right, now we're back on course 3500, leveled off. Back here you can see Mount Soledad. This is La Jolla. Behind us, you can see Mission Bay, just off our nose. To the right, you can see Torrey Pines Golf Course. And as mentioned, now let's get into the pre-flight briefing information that we need to cover to land at Fallbrook Airport or Lima 18. So first, looking at this flight plan from a very high level, you can see we're going to take off from Montgomery Gibbs. They're going to fly west over to the Mount Soledad visual landmark. From there, we're going to turn north. We're going to head up the coast, and we're going to end up flying over Palomar, and then our way into Lima 18 or Fallbrook Community Air Park. So zooming in and looking at some of the finer points of this route, we're going to take off from Montgomery Gibbs. More than likely, we're going to take 28 right, which is common for any of their westbound departures. We're going to leave their airspace. We're going to make sure to stay under 4,800 feet, because because above that, we're going to hit the Bravo shelf. So we'll plan to fly here, climbing to around 3,500. We want to stay at 3,500 because there is a corridor here that we can cut through so we don't have to get Bravo clearance to go into the airspace. You can see here the Bravo shelf is going to be from 3,200 down to 1,800. And then again, it's up at 6,800 up to 10,000 feet. So to navigate this airspace, if we're at 3,500, we could cut right through this little sliver right here of the Bravo. Likewise, we could also fly below. 1,800 feet. So as we cross through this corridor, the lower limits kind of drop out, and you just need to make sure that you stay below 6,800. So we'll continue to cruise here around 3,500 up until we get to this airspace up here. You can see by this notation, this is a visual waypoint. So this visual waypoint, uh, VPS BL, we're going to start our turn here to start to cut into the east. This is going to allow us to fly directly over Palomar. We can pick up their ATIS if we want to check the weather on the way. We'll probably do that. And uh, here the important thing to do is just to make sure that we stay above 2,800 for that is the Delta airspace of Palomar. So if we continue to cruise at 3,500, we'll be just fine. From here, we're going to shoot for this next visual waypoint, uh, VPSVA, and we're just going to have a slight course change uh, to continue into Fallbrook Regional Air Park. As we cross this visual waypoint and we're clear of the Palomar airspace, we'll go ahead and start a very 
slow, shallow descent down to the traffic pattern altitude of Fallbrook Community Air Park. We can see their elevation is at 708 feet, so that means their traffic pattern is going to be 1,700 feet, so we'll shoot for that. There are some important remarks that we need to keep in mind when departing this airport. So as we can see down here in the noise section, there's noise abatement procedures. So when taking off runway 18, we need to climb to 1,200 feet, and then we need to turn our cross when we are beam the water tower, and it's about 1.1 miles at, from the end of the runway. This diagram would be right about here. Uh, this is going to be a left pattern here, and we're going to, for runway 18, we're going to have an extended downwind leg uh, to allow about a third of a mile approach, and we're going to fly the downwind to the east of the high school. So we'll be able to see a high school right about here. We're going to make sure we're going to stay. We're going to keep it on our left so we are east of the high school. So as we approach the downwind at 45, we're going to look for that high school. We're going to enter the downwind, fly an extended downwind for about a third of a mile, and then come into 1-8. And then while departing 1-8, if we turn crosswind, we're going to make sure to not turn our crosswind until we're at 1,200 feet and a beam the water tower. And I'll point all that out in the game. Another very important thing to note of the runway at Fallbrook is a very short runway. You can see it's 2,160 feet long. So we're going to make sure that we definitely practice our short field landings for this run. If you look down there, you can see the Del Mar racetracks. And then just in front of that is a San Alejo Lagoon. that we have enough runway to land first off. So uh, looking at our POH for this Cessna 172 November, we can see that for a short field landing, we're gonna be close to sea level. So we can go ahead and look at this 1,000 feet. That's close to our airport altitude. And if it was a really, really hot day, which let's go ahead and take a conservative estimate and just pretend it's really hot. Uh, so let's go to this 40 degrees C. We can see that we need a ground roll of 558 feet. And if we had to clear a 50 foot obstacle for whatever reason, the worst case scenario, we're gonna need 13 feet to land and that's if the plane is loaded at 2300 pounds so we know that we're we have quite a good safety margin there because we're not going to be fully loaded down in this plane taking a look at the poh for the takeoff distances we so if we are fully weighed down at 2300 pounds which we won't be for this flight thankfully we will be and we're at a thousand feet we can see that we're going to need around 1800 feet to take off so we're going to go ahead and make sure that we do a short field takeoff for this for sure so one way i like to quickly think through this is if we're going to descend at around 120 knots. We know that's two miles and one minute. We know we need to lose 1,800 feet to go from the 3,500 to the traffic pattern altitude of 1,700. If we were just to descend at 500 feet a minute, which is quite slow, we know that's going to take us 3.6 minutes. And since we know that the two miles is roughly, well, and since we know that we'll roughly cover two miles in one minute, then we can go ahead and make the calculation that 3.6 minutes at 120 knots is going to be 7.2 miles. So as we mentioned, this leg here is 10 nautical miles long. So at a descent rate of 500 feet, uh, we'll have plenty of time to shallowly descend to the traffic pattern altitude. Uh, and if we need to descend even faster, it's not a problem to go up to 700 feet per minute. Okay, so to orient ourselves a little bit, what the approach and landing will look like for Fallbrook, uh, I have here drawn sort of a traffic pattern. So for landing, if we were to enter to the 45 degree, so if we were to enter a 45 degree entrance to the downwind for runway 18, we could enter here. We're going to then fly our the rest of our downwind, our base, and then our final for runway 18. Per the noise abatement procedures, it said we need to depart runway 18. We climbed about 1,200 feet, and it's also about a 1.1 mile southeast of the runway until we see a water tank. Uh, I looked on here, I didn't really see what I thought would be a water tower, but there are some water trough things here. But the measurement is about 1.1 miles to the edge of all the stuff here. So I'm guessing this is the water tank that it's mentioning. So if we fly all the way down and then we turn our crosswind uh, at least 1.1 miles down, that should be good per the procedures. Then we'll make sure that we turn our left downwind. And the key here is we want to fly Check east of the high school. The high school, you're going to be able to see here by this football stadium. So that's what we're going to be looking for. The last thing that's really important to mention for Fallbrook is to the west of Fallbrook airspace. All of this area is going to be restricted, and that's why you'll see runway 36 is going to be a right traffic pattern, which would make this box. But we're going to focus on rum landing runway 18, which is what the winds typically favor, which is going to be a left traffic pattern. So just keep that in mind that it is very close to all this restricted airspace for Camp Pendleton. So we want to make sure to abide by that. Three thousand to establish localized clear ILS 
Four Sierra Contact, Los Angeles Center, one two five point two seven. And we just made our turn at San Betuisos uh, Lagoon, and just below us you can see the Palomar Air, Airport. All right, President heading and where its airspace goes up to 2,800 uh, feet. We're going to fly right above it at 3,500. And uh, 9873, they just changed back to the 19s. We're going to go 19 right, so uh, expect visual approach only one on the right. One on the right. Uh, so Tower Warrior 842 Tango Uniform, holding short runway 30, ready for a northwest departure with hotel. Hotel. 842 Tango Uniform, Santa Maria Tower, runway 30, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on 30, to Tango Uniform. Seven nine Victor, contact SoCal approach 11.6. Contact SoCal approach 119.6, number 5679 Victor. All right, here goes our last turn. We'll go ahead and start our descent, coming down to 1,700 feet. Let me go ahead and pick up the AWOS from Fallbrook. Fallbrook's AWOS is not working. We would get it in real life. I'll start our descent as planned. We'll go at about 500 feet per minute. We're just going to come down to 2,000 feet to enter their traffic pattern. And go ahead and switch over to Fallbrook's common traffic advisory frequency. We'll go ahead and let them know we're entering a downwind when we're about two nautical miles out. So we still have a little bit. So remember, all that airspace by the mountains over there is all restricted, so we definitely want to stay to the east of that. And then also, remember, we're looking for that high school. We're going to fly our downwind leg to the east of the high school. All right, we're about two nautical miles out from the airport, so let me go ahead and make my call. Fallbrook Community Air Park, Cessna 733 Delta Kilo, two miles southeast of the field, entering a 45-degree downwind for runway 18, Fallbrook traffic. Uh, there's the airport. You can see it. There's the beacon right there. Looks like there's the high school just off our nose, so we're going to go ahead and enter our downwind right about here. Farbrook traffic, Cessna 733 Delta Kilo, entering downwind for runway 18, Farbrook traffic. All right, so let's keep our airspeed a little bit higher. Let's get about 90. Let's trim nose down a little bit. All right, we're, we're on a little bit of an extended downwind now. All right, Farbrook traffic, Cessna 733 Delta Kilo, is turning left base, runway 8. Fallbrook traffic, 10 degrees of flap, car P9, reduce power. Coming on around. Ninety degrees, twenty degrees of flaps, seventy knots. Coming on down, five hundred feet per minute. Farbrook traffic, Cessna seven three three Delta Kilo, turning final runway one eight. Farbrook traffic. Start our final turn. A little slow, so I'll nose down a bit. Seventy's good. Five hundred feet a minute. Still some altitude to drop. Three hundred feet. Thirty degrees of flaps. Trim nose down. 
V, give it a little bit of power. Clear these trees. Alright, runway's made, power idle. Get off the runway right here. Alright, Fallbrook traffic, Cessna 733 Delta Kilo is clearly active. Fallbrook traffic. Alright, well, cool. Well, welcome to Fallbrook Airport. Thank you for joining me today on our trip to Fallbrook, and I'll see you next time.